Chapter 6 begins in a strange way. During the night, an air battle occurs. An explosion lights up the sky. A crew member parachutes down from his plane and dies landing on the mountain. We get a description of his body being dragged across the untamed beauty of the jungle. Now Sam and Eric, the twins, discover his body while collecting firewood, and they think it's the beast. Ralph calls a meeting when Sam and Eric get back, and they tell everyone what they saw. Jack calls for a hunt. Piggy tries to tell everyone they should stay away from it, but that idea is rejected. Piggy tries to talk again because he has the conk, but Jack says the rules don't matter anymore. Piggy should stay with the little ones, and everyone else should go with Jack, including Ralph. Simon contemplates the beast and is frustrated with himself for not being able to speak up during the meeting. Ralph says he'll hunt alone because he's chief. At first he's afraid, but he calms down. Jack follows Ralph and the two of them go together, establishing that interplay of their power, who's in charge, who follows. Ralph says they should go to the mountains so they can keep the signal fire burning. Jack thinks he worries too much about the fire. They return to the other boys. Now the other boys have started to play and want to continue, but Ralph insists they relight that fire. In this chapter, Ralph and Piggy talk glowingly of adults and being back in the civilized world, but the battle that takes place in the air shows that adults are not acting in a civilized manner either. You know, World War II. The boys on the island are engaged in this battle between civilization and savagery, and we see that fear is making the boys act irrationally. Now, Sam and Eric glimpse the dead parachutist, but by the time they get back to see all the other boys, he's no longer a dead body. He has teeth and claws, and he even lunged at them. And Simon and Ralph recognize the story about the beast doesn't make sense. However, in a group setting like this, reason succumbs to growing fear and panic. Jack senses that fear and uses it as part of his power grab. Only he can protect everyone. He asks Ralph if he's too afraid to hunt sort of trying to belittle his power. He says that the conch is irrelevant now and everyone knows who should and shouldn't talk. Like a dictator, Jack wants to make the rules and decide who belongs and who doesn't have a voice at all. Ralph is trying, meanwhile, to reestablish order. He wants to relight the fire while the boys play. If they stay where they are, they have a sense of safety. Fear makes the boys short-sighted. Ralph's focus on this aspect is his truest strength. He understands what is important and he will not be deterred.